When examining the work of Leonora Carrington, it's important to think that politics is always on her mind, and never more so than in this unusual painting from 1968. If you look here at the bottom, you'll see that it's dated the 13th of August, and this is exactly concurrent with the time of the student uprisings, which happened internationally, from Paris, even in Dublin. And what happened in Mexico City was that it was about to host the Olympic Games, so these student uprisings, which turned into a general strike, were seen as a threat to the upcoming games. So the Mexican government violently put them down. Mexico, in effect, had its Tiananmen Square massacre. It was called Tlatelolco. And hundreds of people were killed. Leonora was outraged. And this painting is almost like a draft of her anger. It's this first, uh, first reaction to that scenario. And what we can see here is that she says, this is not a political painting. This is not a, a grenadier, not in the army. This is not an assassin. This is a free painting. I want to keep my liberty. And on the right, she quotes from John Donne, who was a metaphysical poet from the 17th century in England. It's a very strange painting. We have this strange kind of butterfly witch on top of a jaguar, which has the head of a vulture and, and a panther. It also has this sun disc on its chest. And one of the ways perhaps to read this painting is that these animals in Aztec uh, mythologies uh, were a Nahual. It was an animal accompaniment for a shaman. A shaman would travel between the living and the dead, and this animal would protect him on his journey. So in a way, this painting is like a talisman to protect those who've been killed in the massacres on their journey into the afterlife. So the first painting, Lepidoptera, that we just saw, as I said, was like a draft of Leonora Carrington's initial ideas, her initial thoughts, her anger. And like her writing, she then often goes on and makes a more finished painting based on that. And this is also based on the Tlatelolco massacres. It's called Operation Wednesday, and it's from March 1969, so about eight months later. And it's a much more typically Carrington image, much more surreal than the previous one. And what we see is this uh, surgeon holding up a piece of fabric. It reminds one of Veronica's cloth that she held up to Jesus Christ on his way to Calvary. His face was magically imprinted on the cloth. Ver Veronica is Vero icon, true icon. The eyes of the icon are, are bleeding, and you can see this trail of blood is coming down to the ground where in text it says, we will not forget Tlatelolco, and she also names the place and the time. In the very detail you see the little uh, crosses to mark those who've been killed in the massacre. And here we see a child skeleton, and he's writing in a book. And in fact, the book is the Bible, and it's a quotation from Jesus Christ when he's in the Garden of Gethsemane. It's the only time that Jesus doubts his spiritual journey, and he says, O oh Lord my God, why have you forsaken me in this time of my roaring? Above him, we see a butterfly, a Lepidoptera, which is the name of the painting we just saw earlier. In Ireland, these are thought to be the souls uh, of, uh, trapped in purgatory. Otherwise, other religions like the Nagas of Assam believe it's the last phase of reincarnation. And then we move forward and we see this man here. And he is, in fact, a, a well-known plastic surgeon, surgeon in Mexico called Dr. Ortiz Monastiero. And we know that plastic surgery is the preserve of the rich, but Dr. Monastiero went into the public ho hospitals after the massacres and repaired the faces, particularly of children who had, been, who had been injured there. And so this is both a memorial to the massacre and also a tribute to this man who did so much to help the children.